Ooh, hello. It is very late at night. Not very late. Um, it feels very late because I just put the kids to bed and it's like 10 o'clock. It's 10.30. Whatever. It's been a long day. We decided to go to Dave and Buster's tonight. I could do a whole hour on how that place is a shit show, but the kids loved it and we hung out with our family and it was really fun. Um, my topic for this week, I was thinking, so this morning, Jacob had my phone. He's very independent now, you know, he yeah, comes out and he'll play his video games and if he's got to pee or go to the bathroom, he does it, he's good. But he was calling me from the bathroom this morning and I woke up and I went out to the bathroom and he was crying because he dropped my phone and he cracked it and he was so upset and so scared that I was going to be really mad at him and he does this thing where he says I'm mega sorry. And I saw, at first it didn't look like anything, and then I saw it was cracked. In fact, the LED screen is cracked. There's like a line through it right now. And it's going to cost something to fix it. Um, but I thought about reaction, right? And, you know, I grew up with parents. I grew up in the 80s and the 90s. So, I mean, you get hit, you get yelled at, you're always scared of, like, getting in trouble. Um, I did get spanked by my dad. I remember I was five. What I did was I took his expensive pair of binoculars and I was upset that I had to give them to my brother and I threw them. And my dad, you yeah, know, he spanked me. And I'm crying and running to their bedroom and throwing myself on the bed and he came and he's like you know here's why I did it and this and that um here's the thing with that is they only know what they knew when they were parents and people might not agree with me that I don't hit my kids I just don't. Um, I I just want to do it a different way. Um, doesn't mean that they can't face any consequences for actions, but this was truly a mistake that he did. And I did, I said, it's okay. And I just kind of got up and I gave him a hug. I said, it's okay. He was crying. And I said, it's okay, you're okay, you're not in trouble. And then I went back to the bed and I went to sleep. Like I was going to go back to sleep when I heard him still crying. And I said, hey, why don't you come in here? He came in and we laid in the bed and I said to him, it's okay. And he was just so upset that he broke my phone. And he just wanted me to fix it. And what I did was I just... I assured him that he could, it's okay, like this isn't a big deal, this is something that could be fixed, and the important thing is we're all, you know, safe and healthy, and there's literally nothing that you can't tell me that we can't figure out something together, and um, we took some deep breaths, and you know, we talked about it a little more, and I reassured him that he's not in trouble and it's okay and mistakes happen. Um, we just didn't have those tools when I was younger. Um, I grew up in a very, the whole generation really, Gen Xers are very like, you just toughen up, you just get it done, let's just do it, work till you die. We need therapy. Um, so, 
trying to break generational um, behaviors, trauma, ways of doing things. I'm, I don't know if I'm doing a good job at it, but I'm trying to do my best. And um, now I've got to, I've got to get a new phone. <laughs> but I thought about this too. It's funny because I'm like, listen, the, your kids are going to do stuff like this, right? It's going to happen. I mean, I remember when I was driving my dad's car, he was trying to show me how to drive. And I saw some friends of mine and I waved at them. And the next thing you know, I was on the curb and I hit a sign. Kids break shit all the time. So, um, yeah, that's it. I'm going to finish eating my chocolate and I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> Bye.